ready? It's sing-along time. J-E-S-U-S means that God's the best. Yes, he shows us God is love. God is love. J-E-S-U-S means that God's the best. Yes, he shows us God is love. God is love. Jesus came for everyone. Amazing grace, God sent his son. Well, hallelujah. And his son, well, hallelujah. He healed the sick, he fed the poor, he walked on water and so much more. And he died for you and I, for you and I. Yes, yes, J-E-S-U-S means that God's the best. Yes, he shows us God. I'm Dewan, and I just love this song because it talks about Jesus and all the wonderful things he did while he was on earth. This month, we're still talking about God's love, and Jesus shows us his amazing love. That reminds me of our big idea this month. Jesus shows us God's love. When Jesus was on earth, he showed God's love in so many different ways. He cared for people that no one really cared about. He fed people. He healed people. Do you know what this is? This is a first aid kit. And in this kit, there are so many things in there to help people when they're not feeling well. We have bandages. We have creams. We have medicine. When Jesus was on earth, there wasn't too many things that people could use to help them when they were sick, but Jesus didn't need medicine. He was the medicine. In today's story, we're gonna hear about how Jesus showed his love and cared for Peter and Peter's mother-in-law. Peter's mother-in-law is Peter's wife's 
Mom, let's go to story time and see what Willem has for us. Story time! Hi friends, I'm Willem, and today we're going to be reading a story about Jesus, his friend Peter, and Peter's mother-in-law. People were starting to hear more and more about Jesus and the amazing things he said about God's love and the miracles he performed. Ooh. One night, Jesus went with James and John to Peter and Andrew's home. Peter's mother-in-law was there, but she was sick in bed with a <laughs> fever. I hate being sick. Back then, there weren't pills to help with the pain. They didn't have the same type of medicines, and so they would have been very worried about her. <laughs> and so they told Jesus about her right away. Jesus went to her. He took her by the hand and he helped her up. And guess what? Right away, the fever was gone. She was so delighted, she began to serve them food and drinks. That night, after the sun went down, loads of people brought friends and family members who were sick to see Jesus. In fact, at one point, all the people in the town were gathered at the doorway to the house. Jesus healed many people that night. In the very early morning the next day, when it was still dark outside, Jesus woke up and left the house to go and find a quiet place to pray. You see, Jesus is God's son, and he wanted to spend time with and talk to God the Father. And so Jesus spent time praying there. When Peter and the other friends woke up, they went to look for Jesus. Hey Jesus, they said, everyone is looking for you. Many people were curious about God's great love and Jesus is the one who shows us God's love. Wow, what a great story. Did you guys enjoy that one? Well, I'll see you guys later. Activity time. Hi friends. Can you imagine all the people Jesus helped to heal? That's a lot of people. Yeah, and after Jesus was done healing those people, he went to pray to God, the Father. That's right. So he was together with a lot of people and healed them, and then he went alone to pray. We're gonna have some fun with this now. We're gonna create a game, and when we're together, you can come close to someone at home, or you can come close to us. That's right. And then when we say alone, you're going to go to your own separate corner or special place. Okay, let's try this now. We're gonna do together. So you go close to someone or you can come close to us. And then when we say alone, go to your special place. Are you ready? Let's do it. Together. Alone. Together. Alone. Together. Alone. Together. <laughs> that was so much fun. You guys did awesome. What do you think Jesus prayed about to God? He probably asked him for help. And we can do that too. That's right. Well, thank you guys so much for playing with us. And now it's time for Keepers. See Bye. you soon. Keepers. Hi, Hi friends. friends. Are you ready for Keepers time? Let's all stand up, because we're going to do some jumping. But before we do that, we have to learn our key verse. The key verse goes like this. Let's love each other, because love is from God. 1 John 4, verse 7. Now we're going to add some actions to it. Let's do it. OK, first action is let's. And on that, we're going to jump forward. Let's. OK. Next is love, and for that, we're going to make a heart with our hands. Can you do that? Perfect. Next is each other, and we're gonna use our hands to show each other. Each, each other. other. Next is because, and this time we're going to jump backwards. Ready? Boom. <laughs> Next is love, and once again, we're gonna show a heart with our hands. Then is from, and this time we're gonna jump again, but forwards. And lastly is God, and we're gonna point up at God. Final step is 1 John 4, verse seven. For that, we're going to open our hands up like the Bible. All right, are we ready to put it all together? Yeah, let's do it. Let's love each, each other because love is from God. 1 John 4, verse 7. That was amazing! Let's do it one more time. Sounds so good. Ready? Let's love 
each, each other because love is from God. First John 4, verse 7. seven. That was so fun. You guys did amazing. Prayer time. It's almost time to say goodbye, but before we do, may I pray with you? How about today we put our hands up in the air and look up to the sky? Are you ready? Okay, let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for your amazing love for us. And thank you for sending Jesus to show us your love. And thank you that Jesus helped and healed so many people. You are awesome and we love you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you for spending time with me today. And I look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye-bye.